Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's try this again on a different emulator this time. This is known as Desmu May and it took me a little while to get the kinks out of it to get this game to run as accurately as possible, but I think I did, so we're back. So let's start Sagot Forest 4-1 in a fog. Hopefully for realsies this time. It looks good, looks good. All that mushroom kind of had an effect, but whatever. <laughs> as long as it doesn't black out the whole screen. Sheesh, can't see through this fog. It's like split plankton soup. Wait, what's that over there? Some kind of glowing mushroom? Grab that, it's nice and bright. That'll burn any moss blocking your way up here. You want some help slogging through the forest and lugging that mushroom around? Ask Stelly Field. No, 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 solo. I'm going solo. How many times do I have to tell you? Anyway, uh, if you stand on these leaves here, right here for a, an extended amount of time, they will flip you off. Uh, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, they'll drop you off if you stand on them for too long. <laughs> uh, over here, you've got a hopalop. They like the shoots hearts out of their ears, I guess. I think it's out of their ears. They're incredibly cute and I feel bad for killing them actually, but sometimes it's gotta be done here, I guess. <laughs> well, maybe I didn't have to do it there, but... Oh, yeah, they'll get in my way sometimes. And I'm gonna avoid you just because you're too cute to kill. Far too cute to kill. Although, cuteness can kill. Perhaps. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, um, you'll notice there's odd floating water all over the place. I have no idea how this water even works. Maybe it's more like gel than it is water, but then that doesn't really explain how it's in midair like that. Unless there's like something holding it behind the screen that we can't exactly see. Well, maybe I shouldn't question it. By the way, you'll notice that there's a couple of starly paths like this right here. That you can't get through because, yeah, I guess Starly it has the wall kick, and yeah. Anyway, must save all the bunnies. Must save the bunnies. Can't kill bunnies. Too kawaii. <laughs> um, more dead ends with pearls along the way. This area's got a lot of dead ends for some reason. Don't know why. I guess it's because they think the rewards are worth it to go through into a dead end or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> Woo! Alrighty. Next area. We are in. Hey, stop! Look at this! The ground's all squishy. It's like rubber. Bet you could jump on it like a trampoline. Yeah, the uh, these floors here, if you bounce on them really gently, it's not really gonna do anything, but the, more, the higher you jump off of them, the higher you can jump off of them. <laughs> Yeah, it just, it just kind of keeps chaining until you get uh, so-and-so high. There's a limit to how high you can go. But uh, press the jump button when you're at the um, like peak of your jump, and you'll be able to get the... I mean, uh, the peak of your fall, and you'll be able to get the most um, uh, height out of your jump. Anyway, I'm kind of burning time here. These acorns, they roll around sort of, kind of, they're detailing. I thought they moved around before, but I guess they don't. <laughs> um... Yeah, anyway, let's move on from those. Kick up some mushrooms, because they aren't a bunny. As long as they aren't a bunny, we are good to go, eh? What's down here? What is down here? Probably prizes, because the arrow points the other way. I don't want to go that way just yet. Uh, ah, pain! Uh, those were madcaps, and... Uh, thank you. <laughs> those mushroom enemies are known as madcaps. Come on, give me those pearls! Mmm! Tasty, tasty pearls. This game has so many pearls! <laughs> You're never ever in danger of dying What in the uh, overworld stages. Well, for the most part, because you just get so many dang pearls. Eh, stop respawning. Don't do that. I beg you. <laughs> anyway, going up now, because that was another dead end with a prize. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good prize, though. I can't really... Uh, complain about that one. No! I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't. Oh no. I'm so sorry, Bunny. I'll try not to do it again. Oh no. Oh jeez, no. I, I, I can't. I just can't. You're too cute. Okay, I'm just gonna avoid you guys. Okay, we're good. We're good. Alright. Hey, Globerto. Ah, oh, Stoffy, my maps. They are so impossible to resist, yes? No! No maps! No! 
easily possible to ignore. <laughs> All right, fog. No glitchiness. Good. Oh shoot! I killed the bunny. I'm sorry. I did it again. Well, it'll respawn in about two seconds anyway. If I go out here, then come back. There it is. Okay, you're alive. So no, no bunnies were harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> Oh, now I know I can kill them safely. <laughs> well, because they don't actually die. Everything just comes right back. Anyway, keep this mushroom, of course. Don't take hits. Get yourself through the stage without losing... Uh, I mean, uh, excuse me. Get yourself to the door without losing it, but actually pass the door up. You'll see why, because there's actually a prize past the door. See this door right here? Don't go in that. You go past it. Keep going, keep going. Bloop, bloop. Nope, oh, maybe I should grab these prizes. Nope, I guess didn't no pearls drop from that. Thought some did. Maybe it was just the animation from the pearls making me think. I mean, the animation from the mushrooms making me think there was a uh, pearl drops. But yeah, it's another dead end with pearls in it. But that's a pretty good pearl prize. Ah, pearl prize though, with all that uh, you get out of that. Anyway, moving on. Bloop. All right. Emulation looks pretty good. Sound is doing pretty good. We are doing pretty good, I suppose. <laughs> oh, stop reading my map. Stay no, stop it. No. No. No, I just wanted to see if you had something new to say. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to save. Just in case recording messes up. <laughs> I was just joking the last time uh, that I was messing around with the lots of saving. It was because... Um, you know, it was, it, it was just wasn't saving before, and yeah, <laughs> and that was on a different emulator, and it seems to be uh, working on this one, so I don't think I have to uh, worry about that. Uh, yeah, I want to go, kind of screw myself by going off that ledge. There's a secret right here, which uh, Mo, go, grab that. Oh, no, stop that. No bad, bad mushrooms. Bad. Must get treasure chests. Yes. Yes! Oh yeah! Mini G is challenge one. It is I, Mini G, the mini game magician. For all lovers of mini games and all soon to be lovers of mini games, now's your chance! I'll introduce you to my newest mini game. Come see me in Sawgood Forest when you can. And this unlocks something on the map. Not a stage, it unlocks a mini game. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, not a secret stage this time's a secret ah, mini gamer. <laughs> You'll be able to come across those because they're in chests, so you don't have to worry about a mole sniffer not uh, sniffing them out or something like that. Uh, oh, maybe I should have came here first, because this is uh, another sort of kind of dead end with pearls. <laughs> anyway, Woo. Woo. Oh, bunny. Now I know, since you'll come back without any qualms. I mean, I won't have any issues killing you with any qualms. Like this! Uh, 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 I kind of failed there, but... <laughs> whatever, whatever. Um, yeah, that was a corner. Corner with nothing. Mushrooms with something. Hey, it's Mo. How's it going? And Bunston. Can't believe King Ping kicked us out this far. How high are we up, anyway? When you look down from here, everything looks really small. Careful, you'll get dizzy if you stare down there too long. Whoa! Now you're making me dizzy. Relax, no pushing. <laughs> uh, anything else to say? Wow, oh, even up here, the forest goes on forever. How are we going to find the shard in all this? Who knows? Who knows? Well, I know. <laughs> I've played through the game before. Transformation to Monstar! Auto scroll segment. This is an incredibly slow auto scroll. Good lord. I you can go faster than this, I believe in you. <laughs> There's much faster auto scroll segments in uh, later on in the game, but they're really slow in the early game. <laughs> Sluggishly slow. And, and you know, since you can spew fire forward like this, there's like there's like no um detrimental effects from staying this close to the edge of the screen because you can just kill stuff as they pop up on the screen like so well, unless you hit a wall or something like that and then they 
uh, drop on your head. So, but yeah, it's it's usually best to stay closer towards the left side of the screen in case they make you want to zigzag back and forth, like closer to the left side. I, I mean, yeah, stay towards the right side in case they make you zigzag back to over to the left, so you don't end up getting squished by the uh, auto scroll. And what was that? I seen something. Uh, I killed. Was that mad? Caps? Like maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, here's a zigzag sort of thing. See what I mean? And door! Looks like I got everything. I hope I got everything. Poison water, by the way. Don't fall in that. It's pretty painful. I'm guessing it's like acidic or something like that. And yeah, something like that. It's, it's like the almost like the water in uh, uh, New Super Mario Brothers in that they have the forest and they have the poison water. They've been doing that a lot in the New Super Mario Brothers games for some reason. It's been like a ah, tradition of sorts. Oh, oh yeah, this, this enemy right here. It's... It's actually not, well, not so much an enemy as it is, uh, well, something you need. I forgot its name offhand, though. Um, it, if you have a different power uh, and have Bunston transform you to a different power, you can actually stun that and use it as a platform. But I'm actually going to have to, ow. <laughs> <laughs> it just kept cornering me. I just want to do my explanation of that guy so I can move on with the game here. Oh wait, what am I doing? I thought that was a platform for some reason. Eh, I'm dumb. <laughs> but yeah, that that guy's not. Well, I mean, it, it is an enemy, but it's not not so much an enemy that would that's an enemy enemy because you can use it as a platform. But it does hurt you if, if it touches you. And we are clear. And with that, I'm gonna end up the part here. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next part.